Hi and welcome to the final function in our Smackit tutorial creation. And what we're going to do here is we're going to enable um, move moles. And of course, this is going to add all the action into our game. So this is going to allow our moles to come out, um, wave at you and be very cheeky and try and avoid your finger and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to create a function, function move moles, because without moving moles, it's pretty pointless. Um, end of function and we're then going to go for i equals 0 to 8 because of course we've got 9 moles and next i and we're going to type in select and we're going to build ourselves a case statement so select moles dot flag and end of select and now we're going to begin a series of case statements. So case, now this doesn't actually need to be typed in, but I do it for my own sake of sanity, to be honest. So end case here, and that's it for case zero. Um, just to uh, to make sure that I haven't made an error. Um, in future, I'd say do nothing. And it may be a little bit wasteful, um, but by having case zero there, I now know that uh, that uh, mold.flag does actually have a purpose, and that purpose is basically to do nothing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is type in case one, and end case, and case two, and end case, and case three, and end case, and I believe I have four. So case four and end case. Now we're going to begin with. Now we're going to begin with uh, case one. So we're going to go um, T S Y equals get sprite Y, and we're going to type in mole and I. Whoops dot sprite and we're then going to go if tsy is less than moles dot sy so tsy basically means the starting wire and uh, and s means um, um, starting y, so this is one we originally created, and uh, we're basically comparing to this value here, and we're going to go minus 50, because we need to compensate. So we're going to go if there, and then moles, and buh, buh, buh. mind going blank there for a second, flag equals Two. So once this this um, action has been completed, we're basically going to uh, to um, move on to the next case statement. And of course, we're going to play sprite because we need a cheeky little animation. Play sprite and moles i dot spr, um, and we're going to give it the values of four, one, four, and seven. And we're then going to provide an else. So if this doesn't come true, then we we'll basically um, run this lot of code here. So set sprite y, and this is where the movement actually comes in. Because um, what we're basically doing here is saying that um, if it's hit this particular range, um, then we need to go on to um, the next case statement with a new animation. And um, what we're going to do here is type in set sprite y. Um, we're going to give it um, the index of i dot spr comma get sprite y. And I'm going to type in moles. Whoops, don't need that square bracket. I'm thinking too far ahead there. Um, dot spr and we're going to subtract uh, moles i 
dot spd and what we're basically doing here is we're taking the uh, the current position of the mole here and then we're subtracting the value of our mole speed here and that basically provides our movement for this particular um, case and then we're going to go end if and that's basically it for case one so we're going to move on to case two and we're going to type in uh, ts y um, equals get sprite y that should be equals there and moles so we're going to grab the position of our mole dot spr and then we're going to go if uh, tsy is greater than moles i dot sy then we need to go else and if and here we're going to type in the conditions well the the the, the actions uh, moles i dot flag equals three and set sprite y moles and i dot spr comma moles i dot sy so what we're basically doing here is um if the uh, the TSY is greater than this value here, the, the original value stored in SY, um, then we're basically going to set the next mode to 3, and we're also going to ensure that we move the sprite so that it is at SY rather than above or below, and this will help prevent drift errors. And um, in the else then, we're going to type in set sprite Y and moles i dot spr and get sprite y so very similar to the previous function uh function i mean the uh, case um and again that's going to be um moles i dot spr um so we're setting the sprite here so we want to do an additive sum don't we that's right so add uh, moles so instead of subtracting here we're adding the speed of the mole dot spd so it will now go back into its borrow and once it's back in its borrow um, then it will basically um, you know if it's less than the starting y then we basically trigger the next one because it's gone back inside again and uh, now we go on to case 3 so that's basically done now nope that's completely done I'm just checking my code over here to make sure that I'm getting all this right. Um, now this is a much easier one. So seed moles. So because the mole has gone back into the burrow, we need to seed it with some new data. Um, so just like that. And flag equals zero. And play sprite, because we need to make sure it goes back to the whole eye-moving sprite rather than um, um, the whole uh, running in terror or with stars around the head sprite. Um, so moles i dot four I don't mean dot comma four one one and four so this uh, restores our original animation and now our final case statement and we're going to type in uh, tsy equals get sprite y and moles i dot spr so same as before and of course then a new logic statement so it's going to be if else and end if because as you've seen in previous tutorials i'm rather inclined to forget the end if once i've typed everything in um so uh, uh, tsy is greater than a moles i dot s y so go do a check for that and uh, sorry what we're going to do is type in here um, moles i 
um, dot flag equals three because so of course this is the if it comes to pass statement and uh, then we're going to type in set sprite y and moles i dot spr comma moles um, i dot sy so we're just making sure that is actually at the position it should be and then we go so play sprite same as before actually uh, moles i dot spr comma um, four comma one one and four and then the else statement is going to be there you go set sprite y and moles i dot um, spr comma and get sprite y um, moles and i dot spr and we can add the value of mole speed so moles speed dot spd just like that and that should be it there then we should actually have a working game so uh, all i'm going to do now is run the game and see if there's any errors right so i've got an error here so uh, uh moles ice because i put in um yeah i put in brackets instead of square brackets or parentheses instead of square parentheses and if i change that and compile the game again <laughs> And there we go, we have a fully working game of Smack It Light. I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials as much as I've enjoyed making them. And uh, I hope you'll subscribe and uh, come back and read my book afterwards. So thank you very much for watching.